Shalom and thank you for tuning in to Soju TV. This is episode 3 of my Numbers 1538 series and today I will be showing you all how to crochet boot fringes. So to get started I'm going to go ahead and describe some of the tools that I'll be using in this tutorial. So what I have here is a hairpin lace tool. And as you can see, it's basically just two metal bars connected with these two um, vertical bars. And um, these bars here on the ends have little holes on them. So you can adjust the spacing between the two metal bars. So I'm gonna use this tool in my tutorial today, also with my crochet hook. Um, where I got this from, I got this one at Hobby Lobby and it was really cheap. I, I don't think you'll spend no more than like $4. Uh, but I also will be showing you in this tutorial how to make these fringes without this tool. So to get started, go ahead and grab your yarn, whatever color you want your fringes to be. I'm going to go ahead and tie a little knot here at the end. That way it anchors the yarn so um, it's not so it's not flimsy and moving around as much okay so once I have done that what you want to do is go ahead and start wrapping this yarn around the hairpin lace tool and you want to start from right to left wrapping the yarn around this loom and make sure when you're wrapping you're not overlapping the yarn okay so this is about what I'm gonna do for this tutorial about this much so um, after you finish wrapping to anchor it at the end, I just like to go ahead and just wrap it on there a few times, like so, and it holds it there. Okay, so next, I'm gonna go ahead and spread this out a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so next, you'll wanna go ahead and grab some more yarn and your crochet hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this blue yarn. The reason I like to use um, blue yarn when I'm making these fringes is because I'm actually crocheting my ribbon of blue onto these fringes at the same time as I'm creating them. So, but you can use the same color um, yarn that you use for your fringes um, for the this step that I'm about to show you next. So to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my ball of yarn over here to help me. So I'm gonna lay that down like that. And start off with your slip knot so I just create a loop and then pull this through like that and then pull down on both okay so now that you have this slip knot on your hook you'll go ahead and insert your crochet hook up underneath the first strand that's on your hairpin lace tool yarn over and then you'll just pull this blue yarn through like that. And then I like to go ahead and tighten it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you again. Go up underneath the next strand that's on your hairpin lace tool, yarn over, and then pull through the loops that are on your hook like that. And just continue to repeat this step. So go underneath, yarn over, and then pull down, tighten, go underneath, yarn over, pull down, and tighten, and just keep repeating these steps. So I'm just going underneath each loop, each strand that's on my tool. So underneath, yarn over, pull down, and then tighten like that. 
and as you can see you're creating your ribbon for your ribbon of blue so continue underneath yarn over pull through tighten and just repeat these steps Okay, so I've come to the last loop on my um, loom or my hairpin lace tool. So what you want to do to finish off is go ahead and chain one. So that's, you know, yarn over and then pull through like this. Make it tight. Go ahead and cut your yarn. Cut the blue one. And also go ahead and cut the gray one as well because you're finished so you should have something that looks like this I'm gonna turn it to the front side so you can see what it looks like so you'll have something that looks like this so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this side as well to get it off And then all you have to do to get it off of here, oh, I forgot to pull this loop through. Okay, so all you have to do to get it off of here is um, slide these bars down. And again, this is called a hairpin lace um, tool or loom or whatever you want to call it. But if you type in hairpin lace on Google, you should find one. Okay, and then you just go ahead and slide these off. So as you can see, I have created loop fringes with the ribbon of blue already attached. And if you want straight fringes, all you have to do is cut these loops in half. And I'll show you another example that I did where I cut the loops at the end. So you'll just cut them and it'll look like this. Okay, now I'm going to show you a second way to make these fringes without this um, tool. Okay, so I'm back and um, this will be the second way that you can make these fringes without that hairpin lace tool. So what I have here is a piece of like card paper. I think it came with one of my Amazon packages or something. Um, so I just went ahead and folded it in half and then fold it in half again because this example that I'm showing you the fringes are going to be a lot shorter so basically however wide um, your piece is that you're using to wrap the yarn around that's how long the fringes are going to be so and what I mean by whatever you're using you literally can use anything to make these fringes so if you have like a curtain rod or like a ruler or you know I mean, literally anything that you can take to wrap the yarn around, it will be good to um, make these fringes. So I'm just using this thick piece of card paper. The process is the exact same as when you use the hairpin lace tool. Go ahead and tie this yarn onto this um, card to anchor it down. like that and then you'll just go ahead and start wrapping this yarn around as we did in the um, first example so just go ahead and start wrapping and you want to keep your attention pretty tight on here so that each loop is the same size so just go ahead and keep wrapping wrapping and slide down wrap and then slide down and remember when you're wrapping do not overlap the yarn so go ahead and keep wrapping. So I've wrapped a good amount and this is what I have. I'm gonna go ahead and spread it out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, 
So go Let's ahead and grab your and your yarn that you're going to use to crochet back across. It's the same steps as before. Go ahead and create your slip knot. And then you want to go ahead and insert your crochet hook up underneath the first loop. And it's a little harder because you don't have that space here in the middle like the hairpin lace tool had to do that. So just work with what you got with what you have. So that's all I did. Insert underneath here, yarned over, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull through both the um, blue yarn that's on my hook. Like that. Insert your hook underneath the next one, yarn over, and then pull through like that, and then tighten it. Insert underneath the next one, like that, yarn over, and then pull through, and then tighten. And just go ahead and repeat. As you can see it is taking just a little bit longer because um, I'm not using the tool and um, the hairpin lace tool so I don't have this space in the middle for me to get underneath each strand easily okay and you'll just go ahead and continue Okay, so we are reaching the end of um, the loops that I have here on this card paper. So let's say that um, once you finish this, and this is obviously not enough to you know put on a shirt or anything like that. So what you will do to continue is go ahead and slide what you have on here off. And I like to leave a few loops on there. Don't slide it all the way off. So just slide it off till you have something like that and then to continue just go ahead and wrap some more and then you'll just continue the process so you'll just get right back into it go ahead and insert your crochet hook back in there And to tighten it, all I'm doing is just pulling on this yarn that's in my left hand. If you were wondering about that. So once I go through, I just pull down with my left hand to tighten it. And this step is necessary because if you don't, um, these fringes unravel. So just go ahead and continue to make sure you tighten up the blue yarn as you're going. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here and the process is the same if you were complete you'll just go ahead and um, chain one so yarn over and then pull through tighten it go ahead and cut your yarn the blue one you'll cut the gray one and then slide this off because you don't need that and then slide the rest of this off. Go ahead and pull this loop through like that. And then turn it around to the right side. And you should have fringes, loop fringes. And like I said before, if you want these to be straight, all you have to do is cut the loops. So I want to thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Soju TV. This was episode three of my numbers 1538 series. And um, I showed you how to make loop fringes and also straight fringes. If you know anyone who is interested 
and making their own fringes, please share this video with them. Also, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I just thank you again for tuning in. And with that, I say shalom.